guys welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony so doja cat is actually clapping back at her fans after they said that they did not like her feature on french montana's song handstand now you guys know that french montana sweetie and doja cat did release the video for handstand about two days ago now while the theme did not match the song i thought it was good to look at and doja did good and sweetie did good per usual now with that being said a lot of doja cat fans feel like Doja Cat is not keeping up with what she said during her Planet Her era. If you guys remember, Doja Cat said she wanted to be more specific with collabs. I've been trying to be more careful about who I'm collaborating with. Mm -hmm. um, and I, not to say that the people on my album are like, not, they're, they're incredible. Like they are the perfect features yeah. on my album. Um, but I do want to be more choosy about what I'm doing because I feel like a lot of features are coming out and it's mm -hmm. It feels like people are just getting on each other's songs for the sake of having them on each other's songs. So as you see, Doja Cat did say that she wanted to be more specific with her collabs. And this is why her fans actually called her out on Twitter and she responded. Now this is what the fan had to say. Doja, what were you saying? You wanted to be more careful with collabs? Cause um, what was that? Doja says, do you have a problem? You good? Another fan says, collabing with French Montana is not being more careful about your collabs. Collabs. Doja says, and that's your weak and irrelevant opinion. Now hop off my D-I-C-K. You're an effing nerd and you're obsessed, B-word. Take up golf. Chow. Woo. That is a lot, Doja. Did you have to drag him like that? Talk about a mess. Now to be quite honest, I think her fans are right. She did come out and say that she wanted to be more careful with her collabs. At the same token, Doja and French Montana do go way back. You guys remember that he was very supportive of Doja before she became poppin' as she is. So I do believe that this was more as a favor for a friend rather than an actual quote-unquote business move. And Doja did well per usual. I actually want to see her collab with a lot more urban artists because a lot of people don't respect Doja's pen. And I think that if she collabs in this realm of music, she can really extend her fan base. Now, the next topic I want to discuss is none other than Miss Nicki Minaj, the queen herself, exposing a TikToker who's been going around saying that he works for her as the pool guy and even went as far as posting pictures of rocks saying that he was at Nikki's house. Chill. Talk about a mess. Now this TikToker goes by Dale TikTok on TikTok and he's actually posted several videos. In one of the videos and pictures, he says the famous. In another video and picture, he says this, the fact that I'm Nicki Minaj's pool boy. Now Nicki Minaj did run past this account and she actually clapped back to expose him and says the fact that you are lying and keeping the lie going and going and going and going to make friends on the internet hashtag not my pool reporting all of your videos of you lying on your page keep counting them mf rocks ain't my rocks chow but go on and keep on counting now this is so cute and i am happy that nikki responded she did it as a queen should and a lot of people have been calling out this tiktoker people have been telling him this is not her house why are you trying to make friends on the internet by using fake pictures of Nicki Minaj's home. And it just goes to show you that people on the internet really have no life. People will literally fake pictures to present this image of themselves knowing dang well that this is not true. And I'm happy that Nicki Minaj responded because she should do that. She has a child at home. There is no reason for you to be posting, even if you were working for her, her home and putting her or her family in a bad position. So kudos to Nicki. She did her thing and again happy late birthday now before we wrap up this video i also want to talk about Nicki minaj breaking the internet yesterday for her birthday now for those of you guys who know Nicki minaj did take to instagram to post some very sexy photos for her birthday she looked very cute with a pinup curl i can't show the full body due to youtube rules but she looked absolutely stunning and she also left a very kind message for the barbs now this is what Nicki had to say my fans said i never come online on my b-day i made it my business today to change that this year especially love you guys so much happy birthday to the queen here are birthday messages from 
700 plus barbs. Tag her so she'll see. Thank you for caring for us and always seeking the best interest for your fans. You have been such an inspiration to many. Your encouraging words and music has helped so many barbs around the world get through their days in difficult situations. We will always love and support you forever. I love you so much. Happy birthday to the head barb. So as you see, Nicki Minaj did post this from her fans. I thought it was a beautiful message and I am happy that she gave us some sickening content because let's be clear, Nicki Minaj is still trending throughout the day at over 100,000 tweets. So let me know what you guys think about these topics down below. How do you feel about Doja Cat clapping back at fans after they basically called her out for saying she wanted to be more specific with collabs? And what are your thoughts on this TikToker lying about working for Nicki Minaj? I look forward to reading your comments. Subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much and we'll talk down below. Bye babes. Thank you.